Hey everyone, welcome to Apico, which is like a bee sanctuary simulator kind of thing. You have to like farm bees and look after them and all sorts. I've been following the guys that make this on Twitter for a while now. And uh, it came out on the 20th of May, so I'm a few days late, but I'm a busy... Oh, oh my god. I'm a busy bee. <laughs> I'm a busy bee. <laughs> right, let's jump straight into it anyway. New world. Um, okay. Hair colour. Um... Oh, wait, we can change loads. Okay, so let's go hair color. I always like the idea of blue hair, you know, but at the same time, I think we should be... What's, what's, what's cool? Green? I don't want to be green, because I was going to blend in with the grass. Okay. What? Uh, yeah, well, let's let's go blue, okay? Wait, oh, we can change that. Oh, oh, yes. Yo, let's go. Is that, oh, you had a little beehive for a hat? Okay, this is kind of cool, you know? Um, I think we're going to keep it pretty simple to start with, all right? Overalls. Do I, wanna, I don't really, really think I want to change much else. I do kind of like this. There's no, like, bright red colour either. It's all kind of pastels. I could have quite liked a nice red uh, colour for the overalls. You know, match the APQ logo and that. What's my name? Almost, almost thought we'd call ourselves someone else then, but... We'll stick with APQ. Set sail. We're playing a B game. Not sure what set sail has to do with it, but let's jump straight in. So the game is beautiful just from looking at it. As always, I uh, refrain from looking at anybody else's videos or any kind of teasers or anything. I just think that looks good. The description of it sounds good. And um, and then I just I buy it and I play it. <laughs> so... The yeah, APQ, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition. And there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out there with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Okay, so we are set in sail. That's fair. Uh, Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Okay. Very Stardew Valley-esque here. Ho ho, we made APQ, and just as you were getting your sea legs, ho ho. <laughs> here we are, Port Apico, and what a lovely, oh really, what a lovely day it is. Okay, it was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. He takes me back. Do you still remember your way around the place? Not sure. Um, no problem here, have my map. I know this place looks at the back of my boat. Okay. Uh, anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier. And down to the left, she's been a buzzing ever since your letter. If you need anything, just holler. <laughs> I can't deal with this this writing, dude. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Look of the hive mother would be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho. Okay, I'm not controlling anything yet. This is purely uh This is a cut scene, I guess. Ah, oh, Nana Belia. <laughs> <laughs> no, why? Oh, APQ, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or... Sorry! That's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since you've had a keeper in the family. Your father, father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to us both. We have taken the guide. You can view the guide at any time with G. Okay. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through, and I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I talk the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. Okay. So... Um, what have we got? Welcome to Apico. Click to claim reward. Whoa, okay. Welcome to Apico, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close this book anytime by pressing G or clicking the icon at the bottom in the bottom middle toolbar. Okay. You can close any books and all menus in the game by pressing escape. Yep, as you progress, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. As this is your first chapter, have a freebie. <laughs> Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. 
Oh dear. Okay. Is, is this what the game's going to be? Right, getting around. Here we go. Is our next little thing we got to do. In Apico, you can move up, down, left, and right with W, A, S, and D. Okay. W, S, A, and D. Is that what people say? That's not right. W, A, S, D, isn't it? Not W, S, A. That's really thrown me off there. Um, when you have your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it will bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information on how you can use it. Useful, huh? It is. Thank you. You can interact with, it, interact with anything around you with the mouse or with the cursor. You can reach quite far with those cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds, just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take this axe. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, here we go. It's like a little quest. Look, when you use left click on something, you will use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot or held with the cursor. Select that fan fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar keys, one to eight, or pick it up with the cursor. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said don't think about it. Go and left click on some trees with the axe. You can hold down left click too. Collect 10 logs and then come back here for a reward. Okay. So you can cut down any trees, I guess. Is there like a specific place I'd like to cut down trees? I kind of want to keep all the trees. They're kind of nice. We should try and get into there. So let's let's scroll to the axe like so. Whoa, we're kind of rapid. Okay. We got a one log from that. I suppose we are cutting the trees really quickly. We're getting acorns as well. I'm guessing that's what we're going to use to replant the trees, maybe. 13 logs. Okay. Let's claim our reward. So we're going to get a workbench from this. Very nice. Okay. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. Okay, E for inventory is kind of weird. Uh, left click will always pick up any item in a slot and move it to any other slot. Right click will pick up half of a stack or drop one item from the stack you have picked up. Using the middle click on an item to collect as many of the item as you have in that menu. Okay, and we get a small crate. Nice. A lot of reading at this point. Hopefully we'll be able to get into the game pretty soon. Uh, time to get crafting. Grab that workbench we just gave you and plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with left click to view the workbench crafting menu. Go and open the workbench and you'll see a recipe for a saw bench. Get yourself enough logs, craft one and come back here. Would you kindly? Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menus. So you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. So say if the stuff's in the chest, we can craft. Okay. Is this our currency, by the way? Got zero rubies and zero honey core. Right, so let's place this thing down. Is that it? Okay. Oh, okay. So let's say I wanted to destroy this. How would one do that? Um... A hammer, okay, so Terraria style, I guess, to remove some of the things, okay. So what do we need to make a saw bench? 10, 10 logs, we've already got 13. Let's craft one of these then. So I guess we're going to want to get this down in the area too. Um, wasn't really where I had it in mind. That just moves the menu, okay. Oh, you can cut logs from miles away. Okay, this is very confusing already. Okay. Right, let's have a look at our guide, see what's next. We should claim this. Is this going to give us on a it gives us 20 logs? I thought it was going to give us another saw bench. I was like, hey, that's kind of weird. Next steps. That's all from this introduction. But don't worry, we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that sounds great, actually. To be fair, as someone that's never worked with bees, it doesn't sound that appealing to me. I've seen the TikToks of the woman that can, like, you know, just put her hands in like a beehive and just like move those those weird slats out that house with the bees, you know. Um, I respect that. I would probably panic. So it doesn't sound that great to me just yet. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. So make sure to keep an eye here. Now go, little one. Be free. <laughs> what? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all. Just dust. Surely it'd be pollen because bees but okay go and take this with you thank you you're giving us another axe 
Another wooden axe. Okay. Well, we've got lots of things to be getting on with now then. I feel we need to make some kind of thing to house bees, you know. Now you have a saw bench, you can start cutting up your logs into other materials. Place a log in the left input slot and you'll then see a little handle appear. Click and drag the handle with your cursor left and right to cut your wooden logs into planks. That's a cool little mechanic. You have to actually cut it. Okay. You can also cut wooden planks into wooden sticks, which are used for crafting tools and throwing at birds trying to steal your stuff. Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade your tools and won't have to chop wood by hand, unless that's your sort of thing. No judgment here. Okay, so if we make 10 planks and 10 sticks, we get 50 planks. Okay. So we've already got 25, right? So if we click on this. Oh, did I drop it? I did. I'm sorry. Okay, so we do this to cut it into planks. Oh, that's really cool. I'm going to guess we get sawdust at some point. So this makes two planks. So do we think one plank makes two sticks? Either way, we need more than 10 planks, right? Because... Oh, there's our first bit of sawdust. Okay. Oh, you can sell things. Oh, you can sell sawdust for 0 0.10 rubies. Okay. Okay, let's take these for now. New recipes unlocked. Okay, nice. Um, all I want to do now is actually bring the planks into here. We haven't put the crate down yet. Should we put this down? Little storage. Oh, it is a little storage thing. Okay. Let's put our acorns in. Sorry. Let's put our acorn. This is going to get confusing. Let's put our acorns in the little storage thing for now. Preview slot. This item in this slot will be shown above the crate when hovered. That's so good. It's like an item frame from Minecraft. I like that. Shrub something. Okay. We've freed up some room in our hot bar. Obviously, we've got our full inventory as well. Uh, let's turn some of these wooden planks into sticks then. So 10 sticks we need. We're getting some more sawdust here though. Okay, nice. That's another achievement completed, I think. Let's have a look at our guide. Here we go, it is. So we get 50 wooden planks for that. Okay. Basic tools. Oh, it's going to make us make all the tools. Okay. To collect certain resources, you need the right tools for the job. You can't just go around punching trees. Axes let you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxes let you mine stone from rocks. Uh, spades let you dig up placed seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up placed crafting items, beehives and tiles. If you make yourself one of each, I'll give you a bunch of rocks. Don't ever say I don't give you nice things. Okay. So... Let's figure out how to make some of these tools. So it's going to be crafting table, right? Oh, we can make a bookshelf and a bin and a big crate. Okay. Uh, let's go to tools. So we want to make all of these. So is it just sticks and planks? It is. Okay. 10 sticks per tool though. Okay. So we need to make a pickaxe and a spade. A tree tap. I've seen that in a Minecraft mod about 10 years ago. It's the only time I've ever seen it. I think it's to get sap or resin. Okay, well, let's get spade and pickaxe made. So we need more sticks. We need 20, 20 sticks. Let's get these planks back in here. I keep dragging. I need to stop dragging. Just click to pick it up. And click to drop it. I like this mechanic. It's going to get my nerves, I can tell. But I like it. It's so nice from just that instant crafting, I guess. There's our 20 sticks. Six more... Sawdust sells for 0 0.10 rubies each. So 1.8 rubies there, I think. Which is kind of nice. So, oh, did I leave my planks? It, oh, you leave them in the crafting thing? Now that is kind of weird. I feel like these things don't need to be in my hot bar because they're at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put those in there. I can still open it, can't I? Yeah, okay, cool. So let's make a spade and let's make a pickaxe. Okay. Nice. We have all the tools now. So we're going to get 50 stone for that. So I'm guessing we can make stone tools now. I won't make stone tools yet. I'll wait until obviously we've got through all of our wooden ones. Like a nice, um, what's the word? Respectable human being. Don't want to just throw away stuff. You know, nice and sustainable and all that. Nice and sus. Uh, 
You know, you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I think it's time we got you building your own place. Place tiles and walls will automatically snap to the grid and you can hold down to place multiple at once. If you have a mistake, you can use a hammer to pick it up again. So we've got to put down flooring and wood walls. I feel as though I should probably start getting some bees down instead. Um, menu magic. Okay, yeah, we've done this. We've moved the menus around. Thank you. Is this, this one's all tips. I feel like we should just go for this one real quick. At this point, you're probably sick of moving things one by one. If only there was a quick way to move stuff around. Okay, you can shift click. Nice. You can also press Q while hovering over menu items to set it as the target. Okay. Keeping organized. I'm a big uh, fan of like to do lists and ticking things off. I use apps on my phone to like, you know, before I finish work for the day, which for the record is usually never because I kind of work 24 hours. Or well, not, I don't work 24 hours, obviously. I just, I can take calls whenever and emails and stuff, but you know, it's always on my mind, right? Which I think is for most people, but um, before like, you know, I will leave my desk for the day, or my office for the day, I set to do list things for the next day. So I can start, I can just crack on, get as much done as I can, which basically almost always frees up my afternoon for like last minute things that come in. Um, unless I've got meetings scheduled for the afternoon, which I hate. Uh, I'm kind of really sidetracking here, aren't I? But um, if you schedule a meeting for the afternoon when you've got a morning free, I hate you. Obviously, some people are busy and have to schedule for the afternoon, but still, I like my morning meetings in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. You've already amassed quite a horde of stuff, huh? You're like a smug dragon lounging on your mountain of bees and wood. At this point, though, it's probably getting hard to keep on top of said mountain. But oh boy, do we have a solution for you. Luckily, your inventory and any crate item has a built-in auto-sort functionality. Simply click... I guess the sort button maybe, or the arrow. To the left of the menu and all contents will be sorted alphabetically. You can also click the middle mouse button on any empty slot. Now doesn't that feel better? Nice, I don't need to clean, any clean anything up yet, but thank you for the tips. Picture perfect. Are you enjoying the peaceful world of Apico? Want to show off your amazing apiaries to the world? You can turn on photo mode at any time by pressing P. Photo mode will hide all the menus and buttons so that you can get yourself cool screenshots. We love to see the beautiful things you've created. You can share with us on Twitter by mentioning us directly at Apico Game or using the hashtag Apico. You can also show off your bases in the Apico forums. We'd love to see you there. Thank you. Five sticky pearls, one ruby each. Yo, let's go. We're making stonks. Waiting around. Okay. Um, at the beginning, you might find there's not much you can do during the night or while it's raining. Wait, there's a night time? Oh, no. If you haven't got any bees that are active during those times. Benches and beds let you take a nap while dreaming of bees time in the game. Oh, while dreaming of bees, time in the game will be sped up. This makes the day pass quicker, which affects trees and saplings you planted as well as helps weather and end quicker. I said and, sorry. Sleeping in a bed will also set your spawn point. How big is the map? Holding R for five seconds will respawn you back at the last bed you slept in. That's kind of helpful. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be, be realistic. So they've given us a bench. So I think we get that down right away. So it's E for inventory. We've got way more crates here. I'm going to leave. I don't need the crates just yet. But, um, oh, wait. Oh, no. Can I? Okay. Hammer. Nice. But I'm still... I'm still on the bench then for a second. Okay. It's auto-saving. Let's just put a bench down here. We can have a little nap there if we want to, right? How does it work? You used to let you take a nap. Okay, so I'm... I'm interacting with it. Oh, it does... It does skip. It does skip time. Okay, we should probably stop doing that while it's still day. This, to me, is... Oh! Beehive. Used to breed bees and produce honeycomb. Bees in a natural hive cannot be crossbred. <sighs> How do we use this? Okay, I guess we should probably go back to the guide. Right, we found our first natural beehive. I think we go down to here. Finding bees. Let's get to why you're really here. Bees, it's true. Oh my god, I'm really here for the bees. To get started on your beekeeping journey, you'll need to find yourself some bees out in the wild. Different species of bees can be found in, a different, in different areas. Try having a look around for bees flying around. Eventually, they head back to their hive. We found one. To start, you'll need a plain old common bee. 
a bee from the forest, and a bee from the shores. Once you find a hive, you can open it with the cursor to have a look inside and take any of the bees with you. You can pick up a hive with a hammer gently. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got a common bee. We need a forest bee and a verge bee. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. This should be our forest one. Oh, wait. They're all common. Uh... Okay, so I think I picked this up and move it, right? Quick queen button. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, does that just... I guess that just... Oh, wait, what did I just do? Oh no. Common queen. Oh, okay, have we turned it into a common queen? I feel like I've gotten a bit out of my depth here, so I'm going to let that just carry on. I'm going to go and find a shore bee, like this one over here. Oh, we're in the water. Verge bee. Okay, do we want a quick queen? I feel like we don't want a quick... I feel like we should just take these, honestly. I can put these in my inventory like this. Okay, and then we can pick this up, can't we? I'm going to guess this one has to be placed in water. Okay, we've picked it up, but that's nice. We've got a shore bee. Okay. I think we're going to be fine here. We just need this one to do its thing. Which I think is... What, is the queen lifespan? Oh, no. Wait. Have I... I may be very unknowledgeable about bees here, so I'm going to take out... Yeah, let's do this. Does the queen bee die? Because if so, I don't really want that to happen. Okay, we've got another beehive. Right, let's clear some space. I think it's time... We start to think about the future of this little... Oh, we need a pickaxe for this. Need a stronger pickaxe to mine these rocks? Excuse me. We can make a stone one eventually, though. I just don't want to do it right now. Honey rose. I'm just trying to clear a bit of space, you know. I do see a little uh, sapling there. A seedling, actually, for a honey rose. Now, this probably isn't the best place to start our base, right next to our... Um, Nana's house, but for convenience, I think it's probably going to be okay. And would you look at that? Those stones are in the way. So if we need to put uh, the water hive in the water, we've got a little little lake out the back here. It could be the ocean. I just haven't explored that much yet. Hopefully this isn't really loud, but okay. So let's go. I feel like I should dig this little seedling up. I feel like it's in the way. Nice. Okay. So, let's open our crate. We've got lots of bees, so I'm thinking we actually get a bee. Let's get a bee crate down. Um, I'm holding shift click, okay. There we go, it's because I had two different things open. Um, that's where all of our bees can go. Okay, we've got one queen bee. So you can make wooden hives as well, okay. Right, back to the guide. It's getting late, so I feel like we should probably make... Oh, do we really need a house? I don't think we do. Oh, I meant to have these in my inventory, of course. Wait, we don't have a forest bee, do we? What am I doing? Guide. No, we, we still need to find a forest bee. So, that's a forest bee. Okay. Let's get a common bee and a verge bee. And then let's go and get... It's a whole town. I didn't even think about checking up there for a town. Here we go. Forest bees. I could probably leave them in here, I think, and pick it up. I think that's like a little storage slot, but... Okay. Let's head back so we can complete this quest, which is going to give us a beehive itself. Okay. Flower power. Have you taken the time to stop and smell the flowers? Your bees certainly will. You can pick up flowers with the cursor and place them near your hives for your bees to visit. The flowers visited by bees will slowly spread and grow. Later on, when you have an extractor, you'll be able to... You'll be able to get flower seeds from your hives based on the flowers they visited. You'll even be able to discover new hybrid flowers that can have direct effects on nearby bees, such as increasing their productivity or allowing them to stay up at night. Okay, so we need to get swarm wort and beekeeper's delight. Well, would you look at this? We've got loads of beekeeper's delight. Swarm wort. Yeah, who would have guessed? In the water. Okay. 
We can get some swarm word for you, my friend. Okay, so that's another one complete. What do we get this time? Oh, Abby's folio. Okay, let's take a look, look at Abby's folio. We've got an achievement there in the bottom right, following in their footsteps. Although it doesn't show up on um, the screen for you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, we can... Oh, so we can cross-pollinate. So, if we put these two around a hive, it can turn into bees knees. Okay. Right, cross-pollination. Okay. Cross-breeding flowers is easy. Your bees do all the hard work for you. When a bee visits a flower, it collects some pollen, seeds, and all sorts of other flower goop and takes it back to the hive. When using frames in your apiaries, this goop collects in the frames and gets all mixed together. If you're lucky, the different seeds can mix, giving you new species. Hybrid seeds. Okay. So we need the wooden things for that. Okay. That's cool. Um, beekeeping 101. Here we go. This is where it starts, everyone. Look at all this bee stuff. Now you have some bees in a beehive. You can start breeding bees. To breed bees, place two bees in the left-hand input slots of a hive to create a queen. Okay. So it costs two bees. The queen will then get to work and start producing honeycomb. At the end of her lifespan, she'll produce cute little offspring. Okay, so they're renewable. Nice. All bees produced in natural beehives will be direct clones of the queen. Time to make an army of Beatrices. Okay. So if we get more common bees and more honeycomb, we will complete this. So let's get a beehive placed down. Um, let's put it here for now. I'm going to move our little bench out of the way as well. Um, okay, hang on. Why have I still got the beehive in my hand? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't have any room. Okay. I am um, maybe struggling here a little bit. I've just accidentally hit my thing with a hammer. Okay. Let's get um, some of these bees in here, to be honest, right? I think we're going to go for the common bee route here. So, we go to this. We... We've already got a queen, so let's put the queen in the slot. These are output slots. I think we just fill the rest with common bees for now. Now I think we get another one of these going with the water ones, and then another one with the forest ones. Okay. Then they want flowers around it, which is my next thing. So let's place some some little flowers. We obviously can't place swamp where... Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Okay. Very nice. Bee is doing its thing creating some honey you know uh okay let's get a water one down which we can for sure just put like right there we're gonna need to get the bees though so we do we have any we don't have any queen bees yet we got forest we need the verge bees for this one we've actually oh no we've got a few they do look ever so similar so what can we put around can you put any of these around this beehive? Oh, you kind of... You put some on the shores, maybe. Maybe that might help a little bit. Uh, let's try it, at least. Okay. And we want to put our... Uh, we actually don't have any queen bees, so... We're going to have to mate, I think, two of these. These guys are shiny. Oh, they're purebred. So if these breed into a queen, there we go. It's a purebred verge queen. Okay. Blessed be. Very nice. It's going to start doing its thing, I'm sure. Oh, little autosave going on here. Okay. Right. Very nice. Let's get some more of these in, uh, in here, you know, just for the next bee, of course. Okay. And now, I'm going to guess, does the forest one need to be in a forest? That sounds really stupid, I'm, I'm aware. Um... Oh, bees in a natural hive cannot crossbreed. Okay, kind of makes sense, I suppose. We're just going to put this one right next to this one, actually. And let's go and get all of our forest bees. So I don't think we've got any purebred forest bees by the looks of it. Oh, they're all purebred. I guess the other ones were just shiny for whatever reason. Okay. Nice. Well, they can start doing their thing. So that's all the bees, you know, doing... Doing their thing. Oh, it takes time. Next produce in 52 seconds. 
Wow, okay. Um, so, I guess while the bees are doing their thing, we should probably get to building then, right? I think this makes sense. Let's get a little shack going just to house our tools. We'll probably keep the bees outside, I think. It's probably a smart thing. Um, so, we want to make wood walls and wood flooring. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, there's an apiary. There's a wooden frame to go in the apiary. Okay. okay. Bee box. Okay. Lots of things here that we need to look at for sure. Tools as well. Okay, so I think for now, I think we're going to stay with a very basic wood floor. Oh, I need to craft wood floors. So it costs one to make five. We need to make 16 for this achievement, right? So let's just get this completed real quick. It's going to give us a stone hammer. Very nice. Um, wow, you can craft. Hang on. So you've built yourself a cute little house. Okay, let's let's do that first, right? Let's get us. I think we need a little bit more than this, but. I just want to build like a little bit of a. You know, a little bit of a home here. Oh, I haven't made the walls. <laughs> oh, they're there. Sorry. Okay. It's taking me a bit used to getting... Well, it's taking me used to... Wait, what is it? It's taking me a bit of a while to get used to the hot bar at the top. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to annoy me. I guess that's why we've got to put floor underneath the... Underneath the things. Wait, we need to make a door here as well. Let's just go pick everything up first. I'm going to leave these little storage things outside. We've got our workbench, which I wanted to put right in the corner. Okay, there we go. I want our saw bench right next to it. And then our bench to sleep on can go right there. Okay, so that's going to help us skip time. I'm just thinking, can we put... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, we're going to make some more floors, which we actually don't need to go outside for now, which is nice. Um... I don't think one can make a door. Flower pots. Oh yeah, true. That isn't a door, is it? It's just an open. Okay, so we're gonna... We do need more floor anyway to cover this slot. I want to cover these corners. Like, I think in the guide it showed they actually built the floor and then the walls went on top of the floor, so... Um, here, look. Yeah, see this? On the right hand side okay well let's uh let's go ahead and make some more walls no some more floor that should be enough right to go all the way around the outside okay nice there's that little house not as nice as this house obviously they've got a proper bed and all sorts but it's gonna do for now well who's this spooky guy a merchant is he always here what are you buying let's have a look friend Whoa. Okay, he's buying that, I guess. You don't have enough... Oh, no. You don't have enough rubies to buy this item. Bottled Apicola. Okay. Let you see better at night. Oh, there's some expensive things in here. He's got carpet, though. We've got no rubies. We could sell things, but I don't think we're really at a point to sell things just yet, my friend. Um, we're kind of working on our bees still. Why is this hardly... Oh, it's because it's night? Yeah, the bees are sleeping. Okay. That's why there's no progress being made. So it makes sense to actually rest up here on our bench. Although, I think we should maybe try and dye the floor a little bit. Um, so you put yourself a cute little house or decided to embrace that forest hermit life. No judgment here. Now, wouldn't it just be sweet as honey if you could paint that little house or colour code your storage? Well, good news. You can craft dyes using flowers and glue and use a paintbrush to paint any tile, wall or object of any colour you like. If you decide you want a change of scenery, you can craft a scraper to remove it. OK, so we've got to make a brush. OK, and then it will give us red dye. So we've got to make a brush. So to the crafting table we go. Tools. Oh, no, wait, it was in here, wasn't it? We can make a brush with sticks. So we've got to use the sawmill to get some more sticks because we don't have any. I keep forgetting it's a, 
It's not a click and drag kind of thing. We need five sticks. Now this is nice. I don't have to put it in my inventory to craft. It can just stay in here and I click craft just like that. Ta-da. Obviously I am going to put the planks and stuff back in my inventory because they're very useful to have. So we get 32 red dye for this. So we could now... Oh, we haven't unlocked this one yet. Okay. Interesting. So let's go ahead and die. Oh. oh, I accidentally used a hammer there instead of the the brush. It uses the first die in your inventory. Oh, you can die the... Oh my god, you can die the... Oh, you can die the boxes and the, the benches and stuff. Wait, the bees waking up? The bees are waking up. I may have just tried to... Oh my god, let's go. I may have just tried to um, paint. Wait, did I paint the beehive? No, okay. I thought I painted the beehive. It's just very orange at the minute. Well, this is nice. Look at them all going around their flowers. And we can't crossbreed the flowers without the aviaries, I don't think. They don't, they don't return the pollen and the other flowery goop to these natural beehives. But these will do for now. Um, right, let's have a look. I think the next thing is actually going to be... Yeah, we need to get these things sorted. So, just a matter of waiting here, really, for offsprings and honeycomb. Um, I need to put that away. Oh, we, should, we need to get these inside as well. Let's get these inside while they're kind of empty. Say so kind of, the one is empty. One that right in the corner, if possible. Hold shift, snap to the grid. Does it have to go in the bottom corner? I guess it does. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, then we can put this one down as well next to it. Placement's kind of weird. Um, but let's go. Let's remove this one. Okay, just chucks everything in our inventory. I got an achievement for that called Oops as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. This one is obviously going to be our B one, I think. And this one can just be to store all of our stuff like wooden floors, paintbrush, wooden walls. Uh, I feel like we should chuck our acorns, shrub saplings in here, any flowers. You know, we've already got nine honeycomb, by the way. We've got bee pollen already that does sell. I don't really want to sell anything just yet, though. Let's chuck the honey rose seeds in here. We're going to keep all the materials on us for now, I think. Oh, the die can go in here. Stone hammer, we're going to save until our wooden one's broke. Okay, we've got some more of these. We need... Okay, this lifespan. One minute left on the queen bee. How are these guys getting on? About the same. Okay. So we're going to get enough honeycomb. But my fear is that we're not going to get enough common bees. So I may need to get some more beehives down. Which is actually very doable right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm hoping these guys can fly over here. So let's take two out of this beehive and put it into this beehive. Okay. So I'm hoping this queen is going to make two offsprings. In which case we'll have enough to do another set. Um, we'll find out any second now. Yeah, these guys are flying over to these flowers. Okay. Okay. This is cool. This is very nice. Here we go. Just above 10 seconds left in the lifespan of this queen bee. Please give us loads of offsprings. We need them. We need 10 common bees in total. This achievement, but I don't want to lose any common bees. I know we can just go find more, of course. Okay, you do actually get a full free offspring. And then you can put two more here. Like that. And then we've got two here. So we can actually get another set. Oh, is this one done? It is. Okay. So you just gave us two. So we're going to make another two of you. Okay. It might be time to make a wooden one, maybe. An apiary. Is that what we need? This one might actually be painted red, you know. Because this one is yellow. <laughs> We've got enough pollen for the quest. Right, we've got... How much pollen have we got? Sorry, how much honeycomb, not pollen. We've got 13, so that's enough. So we just need common bees. So, I think it might be time. Do we investigate the apiaries? What does a bee box do? Used to keep an unlimited amount of single bee species. Oh, that's cool. So we don't need to put them in chests. 
but you do have to create one using a big chest okay a basic apiary used to breed bees and fill frames bees and apiaries can be crossbred i think this is what we need it's going to cost us 10 honeycomb though i think we can afford it because we're going to get way more soon right and then this one we're just going to put like over here for now so we need to put slots in there but we also need to put bees in there we've got two bees somewhere here we go so these guys can start making some more common bees we need to make some slats though they're called slats what they're called wooden frames we need more pollen for that okay we got some pollen there not pollen sorry beehive this one's finished let's get some more of these going i'm not in desperate need of these guys yet so i'm not gonna make any more forest hives or anything um same goes for the water ones right now okay so let's go ahead into here and let's make some of these so we need three i can only make two for now though now this is where if i'm not mistaken they dump all the pollen and stuff this will be produce yes they will they'll produce they'll hold pollen and honeycomb and all the rest of the flowery goodness um, this is this is also how we crossbreed flowers, as far as I'm aware from reading the guide. I just need more honeycomb to make a third one. I think we're one away from it, right? Can we like hire like a beekeeper? I know we're meant to be the beekeeper, but I can see it's getting out of hand. I suppose you'd have all of them in one field, maybe. Unless they need to be in different environments, like the water ones. Well, the forest one doesn't need to be in a forest necessarily, right? I think the water one needs to be in the water. That's that's a given. Okay, let's make another one of these. We need some more. We need one more plank, actually. So let's use the um, sawmill. Make one more plank. Wonderful. Okay. Let's create one more frame. Which should then be able to just slot in here. A filled wooden frame. How do we get... Oh, no. How do we get... Okay, I think it's... I think I've gone a bit too far ahead of where I should be here. I want to say... It's a scraper. You used to remove dye from tiles. Okay. Um, I don't know how one empties. Used to uncap filled frames for use in an extractor. Yep, I've gone out of my depth here. Okay, so... This one, well, it has made some wonderful bees for us. Not this one, sorry. Oh, wait, they're meant to go in here. Okay, let's, let's keep hold of you. Uh, you're going to make some more for us. Are you almost done? Oh, yeah, he's, got, he's got a few seconds left. Okay. I think we need some more natural... Um, some more natural beehives here. We need to go looking for some. There's an apiary. Can we go and... Nah, we can't go steal, surely. Surely we can't go and steal, right? Could we? What is this place? Are you going to say hello? Who are you? You're Dr. Benjamin. Oh, it's you again. What do you want now? Whoa. Excuse me. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh. So he just kind of tells us what we need to know. Okay. What about you? Are you also a shopkeeper? He's our cousin, Barnaby. Okay. And you sell bees. If I was to walk up to this and say, Oh, I fully can steal your bees. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do. So deal with it. This queen bee is finished and gave us two more common bees. I'm not going to use this one right now, to be honest. Um, so we're at a grand total of four common bees. Five. We need ten. We need ten. This guy just gave us one more. Obviously, I want to keep making queen bees. Okay. I think we need to go steal a few more, to be honest. I keep shift-clicking them into my inventory, thinking they'll go down the bottom here. So we are still on the lookout. There's a forest one there that I'm I'm going to leave for now, I think. 
need to cut some trees down to get into this forest, I'm afraid. I need normal common beehives. Lots of watery ones. A honeydew tree. Is there any around here? I have a feeling we may have taken all the common beehives we could have. Could we use a forest one? Yeah, we could use a forest one. Let's take a look in here. What have we got? Oh, wrong tool. Lots of forest ones. I'm just going to pick this one up with a hammer and just see. Okay, it does drop them all on the floor. Okay, we'll be back for you in a second, I guess. Uh, okay, let's see if we can use a forest one to help normal bees. I think you should be able to. Yeah, okay, nice. Uh, I'm then just going to store loads of forest ones in here, though, because... You know, I need room to go pick up the other forest ones. Oh, she's got an anvil. Okay, so you must be like, what are you? Person of that is out of reach. Let's go have a look what you do. You're like a blacksmith to me. You are Beatrix. Oh, hey, APQ. How are you today? Oh, she's a carpenter. Okay. Oh, okay. She, she sells, I guess, wooden stuff. Makes sense, to be honest. There is another water hive up there to the left, but once again, I'm not too interested in those just yet. Lots of honeycomb. Okay. More honeycomb. Very nice. Okay. Do I want to put common bees in here to help? How much is it going to help is the question. I think we do it. I'm not going to put any in the water one though, I don't think. We've got four hives now making common bees. We're currently on two. Probably should make a bee box at some point as well, but not yet. I think we'll save that for the next video. I really want to finish this quest before, um, you know, our queens are done. Now, what did it say about um, this one? The bees time. Do you mean the bees time in the game? We sped up. Okay. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Yeah, okay, so... Well, this one's finished. So basically, when we do this, we only get... This is a blessed bee. Oh, wait. What are those things? They have stats? Okay, well, let's... I think we should make two more here. Or three more. I, th I think this is the way to do it. So it costs two to make three. So we only get one profit each time. So ten times... Okay, it's going to be a long old day for sure. We obviously can't skip. Right, this one's almost perished. This one's halfway. This one doesn't matter because we can't we can't empty these wooden frames yet. Uh, I suppose we could probably put two in there. Or hang on, if we have four of them or five of them produce three bees at a time, that's going to be enough to have to complete the quest and move on with common bees left spare. So I think for I think we just wait for these four to finish and we should have enough. As long as we've got two spare to create another queen bee afterwards, we're good. Only issue is we can't really skip time because it doesn't fast forward our bees. Which does suck. Come on, bees. The music just stopped and it got very silent all of a sudden. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, this one gave us two bees. Not sure about that. So we're at, grand we're, at, we're at grand total of five and there's still three hives left to finish. So we, we need 12 bees, really. 10 for the quest, two to continue with our um, bee breeding process without having to find another hive, which we could probably easily find if we just look. We find the loads of water and forest ones, but the common ones are a little bit rarer. We found the first one behind a tree. I'm just wondering if it's gonna, if it's always gonna be that way. There's one. Oh yes. Okay. Also some crates, which I'm just gonna pick up for the sake of it. But only one bee in here. Well, I'm gonna take it anyway. So you come in with me, Queen Bee. Small crate. Large. Oh, there's something in that large crate. Oh, it's seeds, I think. There's another one over here. Right, I'm just going to go put this one back. Oh, no. Our bees are going to be going to sleep because it's night soon. Oh, that's not good. 
Don't use the hammer on that. Okay, more water bees have been made. Let's make another one. We'll take your honeycomb. Thank you. Nice. Okay, it's giving us three common bees. So, let's go and dump some stuff in one of these boxes for now. So, I think, where was the seeds? Seeds go in here. Okay. Let's close that one. Let's close that one. The seeds go in. I'm shift clicking and they're not going in. Okay, we've also got Abby's folio. We need to put these in a chest. These books, because they stay at the bottom regardless. So, okay, have we got enough space for these common bees? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the queen bee, so that won't count. That's the queen bee who is not yet sleeping. Okay, that should be enough, right? <gasps> there we go. Ten honeycomb and ten bees. And all we get for it is ten more honeycomb. But we do unlock the next achievement or the next task. Which I'm going to save for the next video. Because we are 50 minutes in, believe it or not. So, straight away, I would like to... Oh, you're already breeding. Um, oh, we'd actually lose the bees. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? You don't actually lose the bees. Okay, let's put a queen back in this slot, I guess. Yeah, that's, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Um, so we need to get bee boxes made. I think I'm going to just fill up these guys with some bee slots for now until we get bee boxes made in the next episode, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's end it here for today. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, decent progress, considering, you know, didn't look at anything before the game. Right now, we've got zero rubies, zero honey core. So we are what you would call broke. Um... I think once we start making some produce like we have been, we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. So let's just make this into another queen. Okay. And then we're making loads of loads of honeycomb now that we can sell for 0 0.2 each. And then as soon as we figure out this little apiary out, sell, sell some pollen for one honeybee each, not honeybee ruby each. We're going to be making stonks, I promise. That's going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game and the series. Uh, because we will continue it. I think I'm going to play for as long as I'm interested in it. Um, regardless of what you guys think. But it's always nice to hear feedback from you guys. Uh, yeah. It does feel like maybe a bit more of a stream game though. So we might stream it and turn it into videos. But I'll let you know. But thanks everyone for watching. Carry on doing the usual YouTube stuff. And until next time. Goodbye.